We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Detroit Tigers and the Chicago White Sox. Detroit attempt to end a six-game losing streak. Next. Lucas Giolito gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, you take a look at that ERA, and it's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping back down. He definitely needs to start pitching a lot better than he has up to this point, and it'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around in this one. And that gets the black on the outside a good slider that time. And guys, you take a look at the White Sox entering play here tonight. They come in on the heels of a victory last time out, but they've been in a bad stretch recently, losing five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Maddie, when you get off to a slow start, all you want to do is get back to that 500 number, and you don't care how you get there. Well, this team has done exactly that, and today starts the first day. Hopefully, they find a way to get a win, one game over 500, and everybody is feeling good about the season. And it's 2-1 to the Tigers' leadoff hitter. Good night for baseball. 69 degrees here at first pitch. Now the 2-1. I got the count. 2-1-2. Line drive. Base hit to right. I guarantee you at release point he wanted to pull this pitch back change up middle of the plate usually gets deposited in the seats the next batter Jamer Candelario as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one past history with Lucas Giolito he's four for 13. The 1-0. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Hey, D-Roll, Mike Fillmore, one of the most consistent umpires throughout the league. Both pitchers and position players love this guy. Yeah, I think one of the best in the business. How I judge a good teammate is every day he opens that door, is he consistent? Can I count on him? Mike Fillmore is the exact same way behind the dish. Now the 2-1 pitch is in there for the second strike. Two two. The count is full. Three two. Danger looms on deck here in the person of Miguel Cabrera. Now the three and two pitch he is swung on and missed. He got him. Well, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. And that'll bring up the veteran Miguel Cabrera as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's got the average to 321. Four home runs and 38 runs batted in. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, and it's a foul ball. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there, a little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Working for the punch out and the offering. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. 
Here's C.J. Crone now. As he'll take one on the inside corner at the knees at strike one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The 0-1 on its way. Nope. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Reyes, the runner at first with two gone. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One left for Detroit. Tigers nothing, White Sox coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Daniel Norris gets the ball for the Tigers in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been pretty good his last three starts. A whip under 1.20, so he minimizes the amount of base runners. He's a tough customer. It'll be fun to watch him to see if he's on point early in this one here today. Coming to the plate now, Leori Garcia. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The center fielder, Leori Garcia. Now here's the pitch. So, guys, these Tigers, as they begin play here tonight, they are in the midst of a pretty bad stretch as they've dropped six straight coming in. Now the 1-0. Nope. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters' counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches, and when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Three and oh now. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. Got him to go after the change there, and that'll run things full three and two. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup, or do you stay with the heater? Time now to check the starting lineup card for the Shy Sox in this one. How do they go about taking down their division rival, Mark DeRosa? Yeah, you take a look at this lineup, and they present a ton of challenges. Not only do they have good approaches at the plate, but they're in the top of the league at driving the baseball out of the ballpark. At the end of the day, they say solos won't kill you, but that two, three run bomb, when the game's on the line, that'll put you away. And he will make the play. Two away now. That That's just a great effort from him out there. Good yeah. hustle to make the reaching grab and then the barrel roll for style points. I'll give him a 10. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Now the pitch. Hit to short. Scooped up. And a close play at first, but he's called out, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the White Sox. We are still scoreless. Settling in now, Jonathan Scope. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 
bottom part of the zone and the slider is in there for a called strike. And it's 0-2 to scope. This pitch is bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. Shot toward right center. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Hey, after that base knock right there, he's into double digits, Dero. That's a 10-game hitting streak. Oh, you talking about double digits, Dan. Now it's getting firm. We're seeing the batting average go up. We're seeing the homers go up. We're seeing the RBIs go up. Everything is moving north. Up next steps Kristen Stewart as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. The 1-0. Oh. Oh, yeah. Two and one. Two one pitches that circle change swung on and missed two and two. No one out with a runner at second. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter do you think it can drive it but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball and he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat it's ball one he comes in with that average down in the 240s six home runs and he's driven in 24 now the 1 0 well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. The 2-0 on the way. Hey. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. The 2-1 home. And he fouls this one off. No score here as we play inning number two. Hit the other way out toward right field. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Batting it. The catcher. Austin. Striding forward for his first chance, Austin Romine. And he's a guy that's really scuffling at the plate right now. From the stretch, here's the pitch. No score at this point, but a two-out hit could get a runner in from third. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike two. Oh, and two. Here it is. Oh, and he turns on this fastball and sends it out to deep left field. And I would say he got just about all of that one as this ball is gone. A home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Eighth home run on the season for him. And it's given Detroit a two-to-nothing lead. 
Man, I love that A.B. right there. He rushed him in with the pitch before. You would think maybe he would leak a little bit, cheat to the inside half of the plate. Not the case. Kept his shoulder square, stayed on that pitch middle away, and was able to drive it out of the yard. Stepping in now, Harold Castro. Does he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. One home run and six RBIs. The 1 0. Aye. And he lays off a pitch down and away. Ball two. Hey. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Line shot to second, but it's caught, and the side is retired. The Tigers do get a couple, however, on this two-run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second, and it's now 2-0 Tigers. In now, Elo Jimenez. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Smoke on the ground up the middle. And a base hit as the White Sox pick up their first knock of the ball game. Hey, nice leadoff single to start the second right there. They're already down. they got to find a way to stay on the attack and get back in this game. We'll see how they play it here. So here's the slugging first baseman, Jose Abreu, now. It was a three-hit effort from him last night, so he was a big part of that victory. Now the pitch. Nobody out, runner on first. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And it's 1 and 2. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Batting trip. The catcher. Get money. Run ball. And here's the switch hitting catcher Yasmani Grandal. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0 and 1. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. 14 homers and 36 RBIs. A one pitch on its way. No ball, two strikes. Bouncer to the left side. And that's through for a base hit. He'll come home with it. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Hey, Dero, they're making this guy pay. That's three straight singles and a run driven in. Yeah, nothing hit extremely hard. Killing him softly, station to station with those knocks.
at the plate. Edwin Encarnacion. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Hey, two options if you're standing on the bump right now. Have to find a way to punch this guy's ticket or roll a double play. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Off the plate ball. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. First and second here with nobody out. And this is a ball to Encarnacion. Two and one now. From the belt, the pitch to two and two now. On its tailor made to short, six, four, three, and they turn the double play. Oh, that double play that gave him a really good chance to minimize the damage here. One run has come across, but now he just has to work to strand that runner at third. Would be pretty huge if he can do that. In now the power hitting outfielder, Nomar Mazzara. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Mazzara doesn't usually enjoy left-handed pitching like this as much as he does at bats against right-handers. I'm not sure if it's a comfort thing or if he just sees the ball better coming from the right side, but that's the book on him at this point in his career. He can't do much with that one. It's one and two. Oh, that grounder got him. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that'll put an end to the inning. White Sox pick up just the one. We played two full. Tigers are out in front, two to one. All set for the start of the inning, and set to go is the switch hitting outfielder, Victor Reyes. Victor Reyes. First pitch coming. Here it is. A one one. That's lifted the other way out to left. There to make the catch is Jimenez, and there's one away. So with one away, let's give you a look at the standings in the American League's Central Division as you see where these two teams find themselves entering our ballgame here today. One gone here in the Detroit third. And into bat next, it'll be Jamer Candelario. First offering on its way. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Nope, ball 1. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0-2 and, and 1-1, and but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at-bat. 
And the pitch. Hit to first. Fielded by Abreu. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now that designated hitter, Miguel Cabrera. Standing in, Miguel Cabrera. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2-0. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. So the two-out base hit in the top of the inning is still alive. Uh, hey, D-Roll, that's just what you want to do. Keep the pressure on. He's given up a couple of runs early already in this game, and now he gives up the two-out single. Yeah, no chance right there. You want to make this guy work. You want to try and get into their pen as quick as possible. And if two-out knocks are the answer, then so be it. So that'll bring up C.J. Crone. No balls and a strike to count. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. They say the toughest pitch in baseball is a located fastball. I disagree. That nasty slider is tough to hold up on. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Grandall has it. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Tigers leave one as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Stepping into the box, Danny Mendick. He's hoping to break out of the slump he's been stuck in. The second baseman, Danny Mendick. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Slap hard the opposite way. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Boy, there's another base hit. And this is just kind of like that gift that just keeps on giving. d -roll. both teams piling up the hits. And we're just in the third inning. Yeah, their ears were open on both sides during the pitchers meeting today. Good plan at the plate. A lot of execution from the offensive side on both sides. Reyes comes on now and he has it one down. Now batting third baseman, Yolan Montada. One out here in the Shy Sox third, and that'll bring up the former top prospect as a minor leaguer, Yolan Moncada. First pitch of the at bat on its nope, way. At the ball. On a line, that's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The batter number seven. Good shot. Here. Anderson. And the next to bat will be Tim Anderson as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 0 and 1 delivery. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. 
The one two. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. Ready with the two and two. Fly ball out toward left center field. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them home. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And not in time as the second run scores. Well, last time this guy had some success, but he can't seem to get it going here. In fact, he's given him more hits in this one than he did his entire last outing. And we're only in the third inning. At the plate, Eloy Jimenez, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. One for one after a single his first time up. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled a ball one and one. As a look, now the pitch. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. Still only one out in the inning. Now the 2-1 pitch. Count even at 2-2. Two and two. Oh, that's frustrating right there. He was right on that fastball. Took it deep. Just couldn't keep it fair. How many times have you seen it? There's a good chance he's punching out right here. Just hung in there on that one. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Good swing just a little early and he'll see another payoff pitch. Again another foul ball. You know taking you inside the mind of a batter right here you can't get an auto swing mode you still have to control the strike zone. Hit sharply on the ground. He's got it and he'll take this one to the bag for the out but meanwhile the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Now batting the first baseman Jose Abreu. So a man at third here with two gone and one of the more prolific RBI men in the league the last few years Jose Abreu will bat next. He's set and the pitch and a high strike to begin the at bat it's 0 and 1. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started behind 0 and 2 now. Oh and two here it is this one's down to third throw on to first and a good job of working out of that one with just limited damage as the inning is over so it's two runs on three hits no errors and a runner left on three innings complete the White Sox lead this one three to two start of the fourth upcoming but first Heidi Watney standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Tigers manager Ron Gardenhire during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Here's Jonathan Scope now. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at-bat. Jonathan. 
Go. Here it comes. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2 0 now. Hey. And that's in there, 2 and 1. That fastball is taken but catches the outer third. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. The batter, number 14. So digging in now, Kristen Stewart comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First offering on its way. Ball one as the changeup misses well off the inside. Stewart, a native of Georgia, he's in his third season as a major league player. 2 and 0 to the Tigers' left fielder. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. Two and one the count. Now here's the pitch. Fouled off. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Cameron Mabin is on deck. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. He's racking up a fair amount of strikeouts now out there. That's sixth at this point. So he's got good stuff. And he's fooling a lot of these hitters. Here's Cameron Mabin now. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Mabin sometimes goes by the nickname Slim. He was a first round pick back in 2005. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put Meanwhile, this ball is into right center and that ought to be good enough for extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Well, his team took the lead, and he's okay. able to notch two outs, thinking he's going to shut him down here and preserve the lead. Not so fast. Batter comes up, laces a two-out double, and is a base hit away from coming home to tie this thing. Into the box now, Austin Romine. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. A couple of RBIs for him already, and a chance for more here. Here's the 1 0. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's one pitch one. there on the inside, 1 and 1. One and two to the Tigers' one catcher. Two strikes. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this.
just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I had a chance to talk with White Sox manager Rick Renteria between innings about his thoughts on his lineup's performance. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And digging in is the switch hitting catcher, Yosmani Grandal. Here's the first pitch to him. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Reyes has it, and it's a quick out number one. Now batter, the designated hitter, Edwin Encarnacio. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up the power bat of Edwin Encarnacion. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Nope. Count one and oh. Three runs, six hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. Good swing there, but this is fouled off to the right side. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Reyes is there, two gone. The right fielder, number 30. No ball. Mazzara. Striding in, Nomar Mazzara. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that misses inside 1 and 0. Oh. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. One one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches. Anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. Nope. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Down in order go the White Sox. They're up three to two. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Harold Castro. Castro. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. Some action now in the White Sox bullpen. They'll stand up a lefty and a right-hander to throw. The 1-0. Hey. Hey. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. The one two. He is swung on and missed strike three. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive? No walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. At the plate now, Victor Reyes. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Oh. 
into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Mendick onto the grass. He gets there, and that's the second out. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Now at the plate, Jimer Candelario. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. The 1 0 home. Swing and a liner. Throw over to Abreu is in time, and with it, the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the White Sox three and the Tigers two. Now at the plate, Danny Mendick. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. The second baseman, Danny Mendick. Pitch on the way. Mendick. Playing here in his age 26 season is a middle infielder by trade of course usually a shortstop but they've got him at second base in this one. Yeah this one kind of reminds me of how I was raised I came up as a shortstop and everyone thinks you could just go over to second base seamless transition not the case it kind of feels like you're stepping on a different part of the earth right there everything's happening at way different angles turning a double play at second base becomes a real focal point and stuff you have to work on shortstop the angles are all moving in front of you all moving towards first base this is interesting this is line to left Stewart is right there as he puts it away no problem for the first down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup now and stepping in, Leori Garcia. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First pitch on its way. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder is on the move. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now back. The third baseman. Yoan. Moncada. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Yoan Moncada. He singled his last time up. First pitch coming. Here it is. Laid off, but a cold strike as that caught the outside. This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning one, two, three, and start fresh next inning with the middle of the order. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. And it's fouled away. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the White Sox. And it remains a 3 2 ball game. Now to the plate, Miguel Cabrera, a hit in two tries so far. Miguel Cabrera. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, 
Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Now the pitch. A ball and a strike. And some stirring now in the White Sox bullpen as it looks like a right-hander's up and throwing. The 1-1 one, one home. That ball too. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a ground ball to third. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first out. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt, and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Striding in once again, C.J. Crone. He went down on strikes last time up. Now the pitch. No, that's down. 3-2's our score here in inning number six. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Gone! A solo home run for C.J. Crone, number 23 for him thus far, and the Tigers have come back to tie things at three. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Here comes the White Sox skipper out toward the mound and we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. Won't get a decision in this one but except for a few mistakes he pitched pretty well here this evening. Jay Spry will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far. Number 57. Jay. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope. Second As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Fry is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. And he lays off the pitch up and in ball two. I'm seeing him just a little too amped up out there right now. That's common with hard throwers like him. Running a blazing fastball up there is great, but if you can't harness it, what good does it do you? Here he comes on 2-0. Outside, 3 and 0 now. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. And with the bases empty and three balls, I think they were probably just saying, hey, we're not going to compound our mistakes here. Better issue a free pass and give him something to drive. Ready now, Kristen Stewart. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball that's up front. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Fouled away.
the 1-1 home. Shoots this one over to first. Taken in by Abreu. One there. Throw back to Abreu. They get them both, and the side is retired. But the Tigers are able to knock things up thanks to this solo home run through five and a half. And we are all tied at three apiece. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And stepping up is the shortstop, Tim Anderson. Shortstop, Tim Anderson. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Well, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Man, it's a pitcher you have to love pitching 0 2. Multiple ways up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. And that's out number one. Up next to Chicago. The left fielder, Eloy One out for Chicago here in the sixth. And up next, the exciting Eloy Jimenez. First pitch on its way. And he fouls this one off. Good changeup, and it's 0 2. Count 0 2. And he won't offer it that too high. 1 and 2. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. And it's two balls and two strikes now. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 and 2, started nipping at the corners, and next thing you know, this count stands at three and two. Slap hard the opposite way, and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. The knock's a knock. On its way is pitch number 75. Jose Abreu comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Comes set and the 0-1. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. That's an awesome 12-6 hook right there. Look at the depth, spin rate, nasty downward tilt on that pitch. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. I got to count. Two and two. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher okay, right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and that'll bring up Yasmani Grandal. From the belt, kicks and deals. Foul tip into the catcher's glove at strike one. A great arm action on that changeup right there. You come up to the plate with runners in scoring position. 
you're going to be super aggressive. I don't fault that guy for swinging through. Behind 0-2 now. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Heading out towards shallow right. Chasing after it is Mabin. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Up next to the White Sox, the designated hitter, Edwin. Encarnacion. Edwin Encarnacion to the plate now. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. He's set. Here it comes. Hey! A good curveball came back to catch the strike zone there, and it's 0-2. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. And here's a fastball on 0-2, but it misses. 1-2 and two now. Pretty standard fastball right there, 0-2. And, and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. White Sox strand a couple. Six innings are in the books. Score holds it three to three. Alex Colome will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Alex Colome. New inning set to get underway, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Cameron Mabin. First pitch coming, here it is. Hey, love the pitcher attacking the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate, might as well steal that first strike. And he falls behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Popped him up. Abreu waits on it. One out. The batter, the catcher, Austin Romine. At the plate, Austin Romine. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. First delivery to him on the way. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. In for strike two. Everything this guy throws is hard. That change if he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Fouled off. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Heading out towards shallow right. In comes Mazzara. He makes the running play. Two down. Now batting. Shortstop. Harold Castro. Now batting. Harold Castro. He lined out his first time around and then went down on strikes last time up. Pitch on the way. Line towards center field. And that is in there for a two out base knock. So the top of the seventh isn't over yet after the two out base hit. Well it took him till the seventh but he gets his first hit of the game here and that'll extend his hitting streak. Yeah and he didn't come out of his he didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day Dan kept the front shoulder tough kept the ice water in his veins and didn't try and get too big extends the hitting streak nice job. You know D Rowe, I talked to him before the game about the streak and he said the toughest part is 
He hopes to get hits early in the game to take the pressure off. He had to wait to the seventh inning in this one to come through. Owen won the count. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Now the one and one pitch. And he popped him up. Mendick is there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One left for Detroit. The score remains tied at three to three. Tyler Alexander gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Tyler Alexander. Digging in now, Nomar Mazzara to try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. Nomar Mazzara. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that's in there for a strike. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. Protecting with two strikes went out of the zone that time but he stays alive. The 0 2 once more. It's the top of the zone he struck him out looking. Now back. Digging in Danny Mendick one for two in the ball game thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Hey. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Nope. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Bases are empty. One man out. Swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Hit out towards second. Taken in by Scope. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. And this is not an easy play where you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Leori Garcia, he flew out in his last at-bat. First pitch of the at-bat. At the ball. Ball one, no strike. The 1 0 home. Slow roller down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Two out, nobody on. Line drive to center field. That gets down, and the inning continues. So, Yuan Moncada has a chance following that two out base hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Dan, after that base hit, he's extended his hit streak to nine games, and you know he wants double digits. Oh, there's no question about it. Listen, anybody can get a nine-game hitting streak, but when you call your buddies or send out a text message and say, hey, I'm about in double digits, so nine games is nothing to sneeze at, but he'd love to get it to ten. He's working on a one for three thus far. The set and the 1-0. That's by him for strike one. Nice adjustment out on the mound. 
overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. Two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2. Two -two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Count remains full. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Throws it on strike three for the final out of the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Eighth inning coming up, and we are all tied at three apiece. Jimmy Cordero has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 15. Ready to begin the eighth, and next will be the switch hitting third baseman, Jimer Candelario. Here comes the first pitch. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Bizarro looks up. And that one is gone! A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And it's now a one-run ball game. What a great piece of clutch hitting right there to give his boys the lead. Going to put a lot of pressure on the opposition after score with only six outs to go. Now that the designated hitter. In now, Miguel Cabrera, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitch... A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Lazara's going back, and this one bounds around against the wall. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. The baseball's a game of streaks and runs, and he is on one right now. No question, he's swinging the bat very well of late. And when that's the case, you can't wait to get in the batter's box. Definitely the case in this game. That's his second base knock. This one for extra bases. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. C.J. Crone will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ball game to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This has to be a productive at bat right here. I know you want to drive the run in and get the RBI, but you have to find a way, bare minimum, to move this runner over to third. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. little behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one two. 
lifts it into the air to shallow center. Long run for the center fielder. He can't get there as it falls in. But he gets back in time safe at second base. The batter number eight. Second base. Jonathan Scope. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And that means Jonathan Scope will get ready at the plate. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch it's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out the 1 0 and it's fouled away One one. Yep, that ball went out. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. None out. Runners at first and second. All even now. Two and two. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, now according back. to the umpire. Number Sometimes 14. it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. Here comes the first pitch. Ball. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. Can't sit back long enough and the count evens up at one and one. From the stretch. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field. A base hit. Now a long throw home. And he is going to beat the throw home as he scores to make this a 5 3 game now. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing room. It, it does, and it makes your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind instead of going in a 1-1 game where every pitch is so important. You're one pitch away from a solo tying the game up. That's not the case now. Steve Ciszek gets the call as he'll pitch with one gone in the top of the eighth. Ciszek. So now to the plate, Cameron Maben, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Outside for a ball, one and one. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Set, and the two and one pitch. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. The three one. Hit high and deep to right center. Long run for the center fielder. And he makes the play, but this should extend their lead as the runner tags from third. And the runner from third crosses the plate. 
one of the things you want to do as an offense, that's right, is stay awesome. fundamental and keep pushing. Oh a great job there. Sack fly pushes the third run across in this inning. Austin Romine will dig in again, and as he does, we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two-run homer that was a big blow early on. First pitch on its way. And a good slider here to start the at bat, but it's ruled a ball, 1 0. From the belt, kicks and deals. Fouled away. One one it is a slider that backs up for a ball. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Back to back sliders in on the hands. He didn't handle it real well at all in the previous pitch. So why not come right back with it again? Better job of laying off that one, though. Full count, three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. And he fouls this one off. Three runs already home here. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Throw over to Abreu is in time, and with it, the side is retired. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Tigers six and the White Sox three. Buck Farmer is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of the inning now, and up next it'll be Tim Anderson. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Anderson. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. The 1-1. One, one. Hit hard on the ground to third. He's right there. Throw on to first in time. One away. Well, I think he got away with one right there. It was a fastball right down the middle. And he hit it hard, but he couldn't elevate it at all. Would have been a different story if he did. And now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox. Emo Jimenez. So far, two for three in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Well hit to right, but foul. One out, nobody on. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Ball, 
Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3-1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. He loses him on ball four. When a guy's been swinging the bat as well as he bat, has in this series, you definitely want to take the bat out of his hands. A free pass to first is better than what he's been doing the last couple of games. Ready once again, Jose Abreu. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. The 1 0 home. That's ball two. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Two and 0 count. Here it comes. Fouled off. Got a piece. It's two and two. Two and two. Runner at first here. One man out. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. There's one. Return throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Ninth inning coming up. Tigers lead this one six to three. Now at the plate, Harold Castro. He'll try and lead things off here in inning number nine. Castro. First delivery to him on the way. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. That evens it up one and one. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. The one two. Line to the right side. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. Up next for the Tigers, the center fielder, Victor Reyes. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Victor Reyes. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fouled away. Outside for a ball, one and one. Pitch on the way. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored, looking or swinging. He tried to check his swing, but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. Into the box, Jimer Candelario, as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. A one count. Here's the pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out.
started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. Down in order go the Tigers as they're unable to add to their 6-3 to three lead. Joe Jimenez is the man called now, on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. Joe Jimenez. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And up next, the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Hit hard to the right side. Now here it comes. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Edwin Encarnacion now. Ball one. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here comes the 1-0. Nope. Hey, not a good spot to be down 2-0. This guy has some serious pop at the plate. I'm expecting a big hack here. And now a pitch on the way. This one's down to third. Reined in. Throw on to first. He'll take care of Encarnacion for the second out. Now batter. The right fielder. No ball. Mazzara. Striding into the box. Nomar Mazzara. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. From the stretch. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup. Nothing in one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. The White Sox down to their last strike. That misses one and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, it's only been a week, but I guess it probably feels like a million years ago since they had their last win. But this six-game losing streak is behind them now, so we'll see if they can string some W's together. And tonight's comes to an end. Six to three, the final. Detroit crossed the plate three times in the eighth, helping propel them to the win. Tyler Alexander gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Joe Jimenez earns the save out of the bullpen his 16th of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious.